Hello and welcome back to Open Everyone. Secret Food Tours, New York. Have you heard of that? Well, it's a three hour tour through the streets of the east side, the west east side, right? Where you will satisfy your taste buds and unlock some of New York City's secret food havens. And joining us now to share more, we welcome city manager and head guide of Secret Food Tours, New York, Bridget Kishiginia. Pretty good. Oh, I almost got, almost got it. What, how do you say the last? Bridget Kisaginia. Kisaginia. Yeah. Kisaginia. Yes. Kisaginia. Mm -hmm. And so, um, welcome, Bridget. Thank you. And um, just because you, my daughter's here with us on set, and uh, she kind of like just kind of bonded with you immediately. Let's mm -hmm. just talk a little bit about how you were a teacher first, yes. right? And mm -hmm. now you're doing this before. Uh, just what led you into doing this? Okay, um, I was a teacher for over 14 years and I had always had this passion to tell people things about the city. It turns out my family's been here from 1653 till now and because of that I guess it was always in my blood or my DNA to love the city. And when I left my job due to scheduling conflicts, I went out, got my tour guide license and I started from there. Nice. Mm -hmm. And so. Let's talk about this mm -hmm. tour, the Secret mm -hmm. Foods mm -hmm. tour, right? Yeah. I, I did some reading uh, on it, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it seems this is an or, uh, a tour company that originates from in Europe. That's correct. And um, from what I saw, like I mean, while there's this New York component, the primary email is in the UK, That's and correct. I also read that there's one in Paris. So uh, let's talk a little bit about its origins and how it uh, it's uh, started here, or. or how it kind of seeped into New York, and then we'll talk about why you chose Greenwich Village. Absolutely. It was started a couple of years back by these two guys, young guys, Ali and Nico. It started in Paris first, and then spread to London and through other cities throughout Europe. And then they decided to expand into South America and North America. And before New York, they were in New Orleans, San Francisco, and now we're going to be in Chicago and Boston as well. So we're just, and they're planning eventually to be worldwide. So it's really exciting to be in on the ground floor here in New York. So how long has it been in existence here in New York? Two months. Two months. Yes, wow, we're right. babies. You're getting fresh. <laughs> Woo, so this is great because I love the concept. Thank you. And um, just, okay, so how do you qualify your people and how did Greenwich Village become the uh, place of choice? Great question. Greenwich Village is just a quintessential New York neighborhood. Um, it's featured in a lot of TV and movies, and it's got great food. And so we thought that would be a great place to start. We're actually eventually going to open other tours. Our next one we're thinking about is East Harlem and other places as well. But this was the first, our jumping off point here in the village. And mm -hmm. so, um, but what is it about the village that mm -hmm. I guess uh, enrolled uh, people into choosing it? Because not only do you do taste testing, you, you go through the history of the, of the area. And, and since you were referencing your family originating yes. from 1653, yeah. that's a lot of history. It sure <laughs> is. It sure is. And because the village goes back to 1629, people first being there, and all the history that has happened since then, the counterculture movement, uh, so many secret history of Washington Square Park that a lot of people don't know, all of those components made it the perfect choice to start our tours in New York City. And I always thought that Washington Square Park kind of reminds me a little bit of Paris, right? Like, yeah, with the arch, absolutely. Yes. A lot of people see that reference when they go into the park. So I could see why the gentleman from France chose <laughs> Greenwich Village. <laughs> makes, sense. Yep. makes sense. Makes absolutely. sense. Absolutely. So give us a little insight on what to expect on a tour. Okay, so we have six food tastings and we go through the village and as we're walking through the village, we stop and we talk about things that some people may not be familiar with, places that people have seen all the time, but may not be familiar with what, what, the, what they're about. And then afterward, we try quintessential New York foods and we tell history of the food. Even there is a secret history to food, who knew? And all of that together makes the tour. Nice, so mm -hmm. where can people make reservations? They can go to Secret Food, uh, secretfoodtours.com and then they can look for the link for New York and then we tell the story of the New York tour and then they can book right there. Lovely. Thank you for being here with oh us. Oh my goodness, my and pleasure. Share with our viewers Thank you and so you much. guys. This sounds so exciting. I mean, this is something I so suggest you take advantage of. I mean, who doesn't like to go and eat secretly? <laughs> <laughs> All right, once again, for more on Secret Food Tours in New York, be sure to visit secretfoodtours.com.
dot com slash new dash York. And that is our show today, mi gente. Thanks to all our guests for coming through and to you, our viewers, for tuning in. And if you missed any part of the show, you can check out the Recablecast tonight and 24 hours a day at broxnet.tv. I'm Rena Valentin. And from all of us here at Open, may the universe provide paz, prosperity, y amor. Adios. <laughs>